voltage peak to peak is so substantially higher on the oscilloscope when I only apply a 5 volts signal. And ChatGPT explained that the resonance of the coil matters, the Q factor, which is that amplification uh, factor. Uh, if the signal generator is matching the signal by the impedance or not. <clears throat> and then I asked how can you measure that Q of the coil and it gives us setup, give an explanation, um, and in the end, give an example of an inductance, which is pretty much the inductance that I have, the micro Harris, just the wrong resistance, but anyway, in a certain uh, frequency that will assume to be the SRF, or, and let it calculate. And then it all makes sense, right? And in the end, I asked, okay, good, perfect. I can calculate the Q factor of coil. How do I want to do that? But then comes the next question is, how far the signal from the source has to be from the receiver to consider it not, to not having an effect on the, in the input power? And I know the induction, I know the value. So it gives a very good consider, uh, explanation about mutual induction, coupling coefficient, and the distance. And then it goes on to explain what you would expect at least minimal distance and coefficient. Assume a, it assumes a, a, a certain values that are necessary to <coughs> calculate the optimal distance and then it calculates the distance using the given um, induction doctor that it was which is seems to be my case actually then in the end they calculate the distance we're talking about centimeters distance in this case so a coil of that inductance the micro here it has to be It has to be at least 2.7 centimeters distance apart. So, so they don't affect each other, right? Good. What's the point of this conversation? It's that um, the L3 coil that I show on the OV Unity, the ring and the steps, mouse steps, uh, part four. Uh, it is over unity in a sense that dev, that device receives the energy from the air from a from a source it can't not affect think about it the coil set up the coil in a certain way that it is extracting energy from a source that cannot perceive that extraction so there's no induction coupling there's no mutual induction in this case so the L3 coil that I'm showing over unity it is over unity although we know where the source is the, the source is the mains of the house but the mains of the house cannot perceive that I am using that energy Huh, interesting, interesting concept. So, why that matters? And here's the point of my video. Here's, here's a source. The source gives you power. And there's a mirror in the mirror, of course, right? I think there's a mirror. And this mirror will measure in dollars how much I have to pay then it comes here so I'm paying for this thing then that's it right that's it I paid for it I used whatever I want whatever devices I want I can put in my TV I can put into my uh, 
microwave can use the whatever whatever load I want and for every one of them know that all of them has a return path huh return path in other words it, this is a closed circuit There will be never over unity here. Never over unity. So this is unity. Under unity. But then <clears throat> I have my L3 coil here. Apparatus. That somehow I just sense this energy come around. It just it sucks the energy from from here. From here. From here. From here, from here, <laughs> it just takes energy from everywhere. And then I can run my load, can run my batteries, can run my LEDs, can run my little motor. For now, <laughs> for now, my load is very small. <laughs> then eventually, I'm gonna run a light here. A light bulb. Eventually. Shining bright. And this guy here, there's no return path. No return path. This does not exist. And this connection here, this no induction, no mutual induction. Okay, no cost, no effect back to source. You have to understand this. I can't continue this series without people understanding this. This is crucial. There's a, there's a separation here. So I am paying dollars here for this. I am paying for this. There's no way around it. I am paying for this. But I am not paying for this here. But if I was to think energy from here, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, I know. Yes, but you can't show it. You can't measure it. You can't prove it. This device can be anywhere. It can be close to my house, neighbor's house. It can be in the field, and I am the ground. God knows. I'm going to test this in the field eventually. But for now, I'm not incentivating anybody to steal energy from anyone. Far from it. What I'm trying to show here is that this is what many people in the past, past explain, calling, don't kill the diabol. This is so important to understand. This is a principle. If you want to use this energy this way, not this way, this way, you cannot destroy the dipole. In our case here, our dipole is this guy here. This, my house that I pay for the electricity just to be here is providing the radiant energy that I need to make this device run. But I could have one of these devices, I could have 10,000 of these devices. And none, none of the side here will perceive that. This is crucial to understand. It's, it's a, it really opens the door to, to unlock many problems, many mysteries. 
So don't kill the dipole. And that's how we did this device. There is a, we separate this and we're able to use this and put it back into whatever. Why I put it back for us? Because we want to replace this source. Because if the principle is true, this side doesn't know how much of this side is using. This side here doesn't have to know which source it is really either. All it needs is just, hey, I need this radiant energy around me and I'll capture it. So eventually, in the example given in part four of the video, I'm showing, I'm explaining that I'm paying for the house mains, okay? I am paying for this. This is the mains, I am paying for that, okay? And all this energy that's floating around affects, I can use it for free here. I'm paying here, I'm not stealing anything, I'm paying for it. But I can run more stuff and nobody can tell me how many I'm using. Nobody. You see? So the principle is, if it, it can't kill the dipole fossil, what can I do with this side? Can I replace this side then and provide, can I have another apparatus here that can provide this so this device works? Yes! Yes, baby! <laughs> That's the point. That's when the ringer comes in. That's when the ringer comes in. It's a very good device, very interesting. It provides so many features. It provides the high voltage. That's necessary to make the next step. I mean, what I'm showing here, my little coil, which by the way, it's still running here. I left it running. Uh, it was not my intention to be a lot longer here or anything. I'm just let it, let it just let it running. I have to turn off this guy here, by the way. I'm gonna leave it running and uh, it's just collecting energy. I'm gonna leave, leave it running. But I learned that if you keep the mirror, the mirror is sucking all the energy out. So I turn off the mirror. Yeah, I come back here next thing I know, the study volts there, just doing nothing, just the grounds. Even the ground would be me to uh, where we were here. So one of the elements that's very important to make profitable, really profitable, to get out of here, is that this device is based on a principle from a guy called Don Smith too. Don Smith. Smith. And he, he provided a formula to describe the, the ratio of voltage, the relationship of voltage, frequency, and power extraction, and how the ground is crucial for this thing. How the ground provides all frequencies you could possibly imagine, all of them, all of them. Ground is a huge capacitor, think about a huge inductor. I mean, you can think about many different ways, but ground is full of energy, ready to give to you. So one of the effects that we need here for this device to work, the L3 core to work efficiently, to really, 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 to run a load, a really good load, like a you know, 50 watts, 60 watts filament lamp. Now from this little coil that I'm showing, like showing point, Point half a volt, one volt. Uh, we have to scale this to to be pumped with hundreds of volts. And now mains is 60, 60, 60 hertz only, right? The mains only sixty hertz. It's only one hundred fifteen volts. So we're getting vestiges of that into this electric coil enough to charge a, a ten microfarads capacitor. Four hundred volts. So this is enough for you to calculate how much joules I can store on the L3 coil per frequency, right? So think about it. I'm collecting miserable things here on this side, but look, I'm playing with 60 Hertz and 115 volts. What about, again, this don't kill the dial pole. It, oh, the principle also works reversed. It, will not kill the load.
right? If you change here, the load doesn't care. Provide me, I'll run it. Same way here. This guy takes the load, it's the load, this guy doesn't see it. So the ratio is you square the, the frequency, by the way, according to Don Smith, you square the frequency plus the multiply by the voltage. Now the, I'm just giving generic ratios for you to understand the relationship. Now which which variable should I increase to make it the biggest bang for the buck? Well, frequency because you have to square it. The, square, the energy you can extract it out here, okay, in this little capacitor here. Pay attention. So, so I'm trying to make a short video, just philosophical, and people criticize. Because you don't understand anything fast, you don't know electronics, yeah, sure. Um, no, you're so dumb. You're flat out, you're so dumb, you're flat out, you, you can't possibly have a brain. <laughs> yeah, well, shoot the video, not the messenger, okay? I believe in Jesus, man. So what? So I'm dumb now? So. Back to here, I'm collecting 10 microfarads, 400 volts. The 400 joules, you need these two numbers to calculate the joules. So amount of energy that can collect there. But the amount of energy you collect here is related to the frequency. It's like 60 times per second I'm collecting, let's say, this amount of joules. Only 60 times per second. What about fucking instead of 60 hertz, I go, I don't know. What about the... Uh, <laughs> What about 100K? 100 kilohertz. Better, 600 kilohertz. 10 times more. Is that right? No. 10,000 times more. 60 to 600,000. So 10,000 times more, I'm gonna collect this amount of joules. Whoa, whoa. So I'm collecting now without killing the dipole, 10,000 times more energy just by change the frequency. Yes, exactly. Exactly, man. Unlock your mind. Take the blue pill. Which which is the pill that you, the matrix that you go inside the machine and become like new and the rest. Exactly. Open your mind. This is the killer here. Look. This difference here manifests itself here on the other side. Okay, to this side, to the square, to the square. So I'm not gonna collect just 0.5 volts here, man. I'll be collecting like 50, 100 volts per second, per millisecond, all right? Yeah, I'm telling you, this thing pumps a lot of energy here. But you have to understand this principle. The first principle I'm showing the coil is this, I'm taking long steps to just to focus on one core receiver coil. Just this, what is that line and how this is transferred and why this matters, why this is, doesn't affect the source. And how can we play with the source, can we replace the source and improve this and play with this square advantage? Yes, you can. That's when the ringer comes in place. So this, this video today is just a conceptual video for the next stage. And people have to understand <clears throat> this concept here. Don't kill the dipole, therefore the load will not be killed. It works both ways. Uh, I am paying for this energy. I'm paying for the ring. I'm paying for everything on this side here, I'm paying for it. Everything on this side here, I'm not paying for it. This is no pay, this is paying. This is not paying. Get it? Fausto, but if that's true, what about, can this be a stage for the, yeah, man, you can. Imagine, you, let's say, <clears throat> I pay here for a little source, okay? Small amount of money. This goes and brings me to my, I'm calling L3. And this L3, now I'm gonna run another source. Now it's a source prime, but this time, there's no dollars. There's no dollars. Why? Because I already paid there. Now this guy here is gonna run another L3 coil, right? And this L3 coil is gonna run another source prime, right? Which I'm not paying dollars. 
at all. And at infinito. I pay a little, gain a lot. If you're smart enough, you might be able to close the loop eventually. <laughs> But no, you don't have to go there. Okay, don't worry about this yet. It's too much for your brain now. I know, it's too much for your brain, your engineering brain. You can't think this, so don't worry about this, okay? Continue just there. Continue. Try that, man, try this. No, try it. Try, be surprised, really surprised. Thank you very much. Subscribe, seriously, guys. Seriously, subscribe. I. YouTube told me that 80% of my people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Not? Why? Huh? Subscribe, okay? Subscribe. It helps me, helps me, it helps you, helps people want to see. Subscribe, like it, please, okay? Do a like it, okay? See this? Subscribe, like, thank you. It's a short conceptual video. video. Just to pinpoint this, it has to sink that in your mind. Video number part four called the over, over, I, I changed the title to Over Unity, The Ringer in Small Steps, part four. It shows this guy running all by itself without any connection, of course, from the mains. But the principle is this to show this principle. Okay? Once you understand this principle, it's fundamental. Then you can play with ideas about well, if it works, this guy without seeing this guy. I mean, this guy don't see this guy. What about that? This guy, see this guy? Yeah, exactly. Same, same rule. You can change this thing, and the frequency, which is crucial for the square of the power, you're gonna extract it out. So this thing gets really hot, really fast, really fast. But also, if it's not tuned properly, if not collect done properly, it's not gonna grow fast at all, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's gonna destroy itself, it's not gonna have any power, it's better gonna run on LED, seriously, okay? So, thank you very much, subscribe, hey, you guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.